Hello, happy Friday. How are you? It's Angela here from Stamping Beauty in Christchurch, New Zealand. Hope you've had a good day. Um, I've had a day off today, except for now. Um, my husband and I went to Glen Tui, which is about an hour away, and went for an hour's walk through some lovely bush and along past a stream. And yeah, it was really lovely. It was a bit cooler today, so it was perfect walking weather. So um, yeah, I'm feeling a bit tired days um, as the day's gone on, but that's all good. I'm all prepared for tonight, so that's good. So thanks of you, those of you who are going to be watching live and those who watch later. Thank you for doing that. Um, as my title said, um, Cradle in Love um, is what I'm going to be using tonight, which is one of the free celebration items. It's this cute little set here. And I was showing a friend today talking about it. She said, I didn't even see that or I didn't like it. So that was good. Sometimes that's what happens, isn't it? You sort of brush past something and it's not your cup of tea. And then you see what somebody does and you think, oh, no, no, I want that. But I definitely wanted it because I've got a few baby cards that I needed to make. So it's perfect. So um, I will um, turn you around and get started. Might as well. Um, do that and um yeah hopefully you'll be inspired to to um get the set so i will do that just um get rid of myself from here don't need to see me anymore and i've just got the catalog open at this page i'll just open my blind let's let some daylight in it's still nice to have some daylight to make the most of the season while it's while it's summer so yes this is a set here it's one of the um free ones when you spend 110 dollars so and this is it here so it's got this cute little cradle and this little piece here that's got you can add the little um what are those called now you know to hang down and sometimes they add music don't they and then it's got a cup, the little bottle, an elephant, and then some choices and the little rug. So some nice wee elements to, to um, do some things with that. So I'll, what have I started with? Um, let me get this out of the way. So I've, I've decided I made my original one as a for a wee girl. So I thought, oh, well, I'll make a boy one. So I've got the balmy blue, and I'm using this um, as um, this DSP, which is the um, lighter than air one, the one for the got it in here for the hot air balloon, and it's perfect really for little baby cards because it's got some sweet little colours. So that's on page 33. So there. There are the colours there. So pretty, pretty baby colours. So that's what I thought I would do. Um, so I'm just going to I'll get that down already. You know what I'm like. I always like to get my bits and pieces glued down so, as soon as I can, which sometimes um, doesn't work in my favour because the one I was making this card, I glued something down and then later thought, oh, maybe I need to add something under that so don't do what I do and get overzealous about um, gluing things down and then I've just got an insert and I've just popped a little bit of the, the paper to coordinate with that and you know why I do that because it saves writing so much on there but now with this AI technology it's great you can just type in what you want to say and get it to reword it and it comes out with something that sounds a lot better than I would say. So I've got that. And then I wanted to use these um, scallop contour dies because I've got some great, these great shapes that work really well. And I thought that would look sit nicely on there. So I've already pre-cut one. So that's a good size. And then for the insert, because I'd got myself a bit muddled up, I'd cut another one one in white. So what I did is, that, is to get the perfect size, I just trimmed right down those four sides, just inside that perforated line. So it was perfect size to fit on there. And it saved me um, 
doing all my measuring and I've just got a couple of marks on there. So that was really easy peasy. So I like, I always like it when I have something that goes really well and easily. So what I want to do now is stamp this up before I um, glue anything down. And just bring it in my foam mat. And actually, I was talking to a friend the other day. She um, bought a suite and we were talking. She said, oh, you know, I've spent quite a bit of money. And then she'd been away. I'm sure she won't mind me telling this story. She'd actually had to be away and she couldn't make a card for her grandson. So she went and bought one. And I don't know if you know this, you know, but or how much they are in other countries. But in New Zealand, she bought a really, you know, nice card. And she said it was $15, which I was gobsmacked about. I thought, oh, mm, that's a lot of money. So when we divided the cost of the suite by 15 it only was like 19 so we just said well you just need to make 19 cards <laughs> and then you've um recouped your money so and that's not a, you know that's not impossible is it to make 15 cards out of your suite because you've got lots and lots of so it was the um let's bring it in here it was this one here so you've got that stamp set um you've got the accents you've got this stamp set and dice both die sets got the gems and you've got the paper so it would be really cool to actually sit down and you know work it because you can make a lot of cards with the paper alone so so yeah oh, she only need how oh, where was my bit of paper just calculation 18.94 cards so 19 cards and you've covered your money and then I was thinking about it too and I thought well you know with the other crafty things or activity you know hobbies we don't always recuperate any money you know it's about well-being and fun and everything else so getting being able to recoup some money from your craft is just a bit of a add a bonus really isn't it so um yeah let me know how much you would pay for a card because it'd be interesting to know right so that's just that stamps up really well doesn't it it's got a nice sharp image and then it's got oh Oh, what did I do with that? I hope I haven't lost it because I was faffing around in here earlier. No, it's in here. I was running out of blocks. On here. And then that just wants to sit. Just really have to pop it just somewhere up on there. I don't think you have to be too particular. It will just sit and look like it belongs oh hi Lynette nice to have you here thanks for popping in and then oh sorry I'm disorganized just this little, tiny little um that what do you call those things I can't think what they're called you know they dangle a mobile <laughs> and I'm just going to stamp that actually I'm just going to stamp that I'll scrap that over here see while at the bottom seems oh I don't think I can do much about it. It's quite dark. So and then I just want to pop that on about there. I've managed to make that now I've made the, the moon light, but anyway, that's all right. Oh, by the time I um colour it in. Oh hi Sylvia, nice to have you here too. Thanks for coming along. And then this one I've got it's got sweet baby girl, sweet baby boy. So I've got sweet baby boy. And I'm just going to stamp that. Just got some scrap. Oh, yeah, that, sometimes we do. It does pay to have a bit of a test run, doesn't it? Even for if you've been crafting for a long time. And then I'm just going to line that up. Stamp that down so that um, it worked all right. So far, so good. And then I just thought, um, colour that in, and not too much colouring in, just keep it fairly simple. I mean, you could do the whole bassinet, do it in, um, in sort of a cane, or, but I saw one coloured in just like this, without colouring it in, just having it white, so I thought, oh, that, that looks nice and fresh. So I'm just going to those lines in and dark and this is the balmy blue and then 
where the sort of blanket's got a bit of a stripe through it. Just colour that through there. And then down here, there's another sort of where the, it's got a, um, um, a stripe. And then I'm just going to get the pale, um, the light one, and then just colour it in. just really simple so for anyone who is a bit of a adverse to coloring this really is not much at all just really but if you were to do the whole bassinet that would be quite a bit more coloring so just so there that that's not much and then i'm going to do the um just do the bottom of the bassinet where it would be like if it was um, you know, a little bit of, you know, how you do the fabric sort of base on them where the mattress would be, I guess. Gosh, seems forever, doesn't it, since it have babies and cots and things. Right, so just like that. And then I'm going to just do the whale. This is going to be a wee blue whale. Just, just so it coordinates everything in. Oh, hi, Gay. Nice to have you here. Thanks for popping along. Has ever, anyone got this set? This um, from the, just add a bit of something to that. Um, has anyone got this Cradle with Love from the celebration? And I'm just going to do, we're going to have a pink moon. Just going to change things up on this one. And if you have or haven't, what are your favourites out of the celebration brochure? I always sort of work my way through trying to get everything. I haven't quite got there yet. Actually, I might just check. Is that the... Not as dark. It just looks a bit light compared to those other colours. But I might just put a wee bit more on top. Let's brighten it up a little bit. Not yet. <laughs> But it is cute, isn't it? And um, one of my um, previous downlines, she's just had a baby and I need to get a card sent out. So, And then I've got this um, ribbon here, which is the um, balmy blue. And I just want to put, you don't see much. You just actually, what I might even do, which is a bit cheesy, but there's no point having a whole width behind here that you're not really going to see. So I'm just going to cut off just a couple of little tabs. Probably use more on tape than I would normally, but anyway. So about one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, about four up. Just put a bit of tape on there and then put a bit of tape on the back. So See it just it's just that tiny bit out there and I'm going to do the same on the other side. Do it in the same place. It just seems silly putting a whole lot of ribbon behind it when you don't need to. And I'm, even then I've probably cut too much. Could have made I could have made it a lot tighter. And then when that sits on the top, hey presto, you haven't wasted all that ribbon behind there. So I want dimensionals because we can and now everyone says at my classes because I always say about the story how I showed my husband a card and said what do you think of it and I hadn't used any dimensionals and he said it was a bit flat so when, when we talk about it in class we say no we don't Frank doesn't want a flat card so I've got some used up all my dimensionals I need I need to do a project with half half ones for it. And so I'm just going to take those off there. So as I was saying earlier, if you didn't catch, Frank and I went for a walk today. We had a day off and we went for a, it's about an hour out of Christchurch, Glen Tui, and we did a lovely track walk out there. Um, 
so it was nice so that's on there and then i'm going to pop that up on dimensionals as well and um both backs off and then I just want to get that in a nice sort of middle of the card sort of place and so it doesn't really take long and then I've already made my bow which I'm just going to trim a little shorter and I'll show you how I did that to get that look because I just wanted to sit Trim a wee bit more up there. I'm just going to sit that on there, so I need a glue dot. But what I did is I um, tied it in such a way that you would get, you know, because oh, hold on, I'll show you instead of talking about it. Let's see, but I'll just pop that on there. I just find it easier to show things, so that's just going to sit on there. So with the bow, normally. I just tie a bow. And I don't know if you guys do this. I'll do it up here. Is it better? I go round, and then when you go round and pull it through, sort of, oh, that does work out like that. But you end up sort of like that. So to twist that around and change it, I did. It worked a bit better when I just did a loop like that, a loop like that, and then knotted it. And then with that, it was easier just to flick it over. I probably could have flicked it over on the other way I did it too, I guess. And then when I pulled it, see, it just stayed on there. I have got a wee bow tying thing, so there are just lots of different ways really to tie bows, but that just works quite well. And then you get, you can have it sitting out. So you get it all sitting nice and upright, which is <clears throat> how you want it to look, I think, on something like this. It doesn't matter when it's, um, you know, a ribbon that is double-sided. Now, I just want, I've got some of these little sequins, which I love. I love, love these. And I'll just put a sprinkling of three of these on. So has anybody got anything exciting planned for the weekend? Because it's only a day away. I haven't, just pottering. Hopefully the weather will be nice. So just two there. I'm just going to put one up there. And that is my card. So super, that didn't take long. I mean, I know I had a couple of um, little bits pre-cut. Let's just try and bring that up. It's a bit blurry. Oh, that's so blurry tonight. Oh no, going the wrong way. <laughs> so that's quite, yeah, just quick and easy. So you could, and there are other things in here, like there's that we mat. You can't see that very well. That mat that you can put along the bottom, but it wasn't really, I did it quite, you know, not so wide. So this is the little girls one I did here. So just exactly the same technique. I just used that, because um, this is all bubble bath, that little bubble bath ribbon that comes in the trio with the um, Azure Afternoon and Lemon Lolly. And in fact, that would look lovely if, as a bit of a, um, a neutral, you know, card to do it in Lemon Lolly. You're officiating athletes meat and tasting. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. That'll be lovely. Is it going to be hot weather? <laughs> We've had amazing weather, haven't we, this summer? So yeah, so that's my card. So pretty quick and simple tonight. I'm after my big day out. Um, so yeah, if you um, let me see what you've been making with the celebration. It's always good to see what everyone else has been making. I've got lots of things coming up over the next wee while. I've got um, lots of things in the pipeline and lots of things I want to be making. So I just need to... Um, hanker down oh thanks Lynette. yeah they're cute aren't they so i must get one out in the mail to my friend that's had the baby actually i've had two friends that had babies or 
you know, one friend had a baby, one friend had a grandbaby. So it's getting to that time in my life where my friends are having, their children are having children. So yeah, it's exciting. So thanks very much for watching. Sorry, short and sweet tonight. I'll try and um, come up with something that will take a bit longer next week. But um, I didn't realise it wouldn't take so long. But anyway, thanks for hanging out with me and have a great weekend and hopefully see you next week. Take care. Bye.